What are you doing, Bubbles? I am looking at the parts of a flower. All I can tell is that a flower is made up of sweet scented, colorful, and attractive petals. But when I remove the petals, I saw these yellow headed threads. What are these, Mrs. Coco? Bubbles, there is more to a flower than just the petals. Come, let's take a closer look at the different parts of a flower. The lowermost part of a flower is the pedicel. This is the stalk from which a flower emerges or comes out. The pedicel has a swollen part that is known as the thalamus. There are four worlds or layers of a flower. An arrangement of layers in a circle around something is called a whorl. The main worlds of a flower are the calyx, corolla, andresium, and gynesium. The outermost whorl is the calyx. Can you guess what it is made of? Oh, these are tiny leaves outside the petals, right? Yes, the calyx consists of tiny leaf like structures called sepals. Sepals are usually green in color. The calyx protects the flower during the budding stage. Corolla is the second whorl of a flower. This consists of the petals in a flower. That's my favorite part. The petals are usually bright in color and sweet smelling. Yes, the corolla is usually the most distinct part of a flower. If you remove a few petals, you will find the third floral whorl, the andresium. This is composed of one or more male reproductive organs called the stamens. Each stamen consists of a thin stalk called filament and a bilobed knob like structure at the tip called the anther. The anthers contain pollen grains that look like fine yellow powder. These are the male gametes of a flower. The fourth layer of a flower is gynesium. This consists of one or more female reproductive organs called the carpel. Each carpel has an ovary, style, and stigma. The stigma is the terminal part of the carpel. It is sticky, rough, and hairy. The stigma receives the pollen grains during pollination. The style is a thread like structure that connects the stigma with the ovary. The swollen part of the carpel is an ovary. The ovary contains oval shaped bodies called ovules. The ovules bear the egg cells that are the female gametes of a flower. Let's do a short activity. Why is the corolla of a flower important? The corolla or petals of a flower are important because they protect the reproductive parts, such as the andresium and gynesium. Let's summarize what we've learned today. The flower is attached to a pedicel and thalamus. The four main worlds of a flower are calyx, corolla, andresium, and gynesium. The callus consists of sepals, and the corolla consists of petals. The andresium is the male reproductive part that consists of a stamen. Stamen comprises a filament and an anther. The gynesium is the female reproductive part that consists of a carpel. The carpel comprises a stigma, style, and an ovary.